not sure what she made it out of. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. And I made two. Well, so we got the words hands and brush, and we were a bit uh, back and forth as to what to do. And um, then we thought about using hands on a clock. We had an idea of what if we removed those hands on a clock and painted something on to the clock instead. So that was kind of our, our first idea with it. My cousin Joey's daughter uh, wanted to be in the film and she is uh, about two and a half now. So we, we had some, some play time uh, where we filmed all the scenes together and it was, it was a lot of fun filming with her. Well, the kids in the neighborhood started making movies when they were eight and I used to film and edit it for them. But now they're all 14 and 15, they have their own cameras, their own software, they edit, write, and make all their own films. They're all 14. So they're probably the only kid film in the show today. Wow. And uh, my son says it's a little cringy, but um, it should be fun to watch. My film is a film that has no dialogue and it stars Wally Dempsey as a ghost. And it was filmed here in this theater. Uh, Matt Napier. Matt Napier and the name of your film? The Radio. The Radio. Yeah. Could you tell us about your film, Matt? It's, uh, it's a little short film about a man who uh, finds this little radio in his maintenance shop where he works and his his life's not the way he panned out to be, and he finds out that the radio itself is possessed. It has this weird little thing where it talks to him and gets in his head and messes with him a little bit. It just follows him as he goes through his little mental breakdown with it. And, and is the radio a Panasonic? It is a Casio. A Casio. <laughs> Yeah. How many actors or actresses were in the film? It was me uh, directing and shooting, and then my buddy Ashley Stinnett, he did the main casting, like the main cast, lead role, and then uh, Justin Williams did some voice acting. What kind of camera or it sound? Was, uh, Black Magic. We shot on a Pocket 4K and a uh, Zoom recorder for the sound. We did it about uh, five hours of filming and about 13 hours of editing. Teacher. Yes. Can you tell me about your classes? Oh my, my, gosh. my name is Wes. I'm a Hi, filmmaker, Wes. but I decided not to Hi. do a hack job. Tisha, nice to meet you. There we go. Tisha? Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. You as well. You look like Kate Bush. Great, I'll take that. Dude. You look Thank like you. you just came from the Big Bang Theory. I'll have so. it. I'll take it. So what would you yeah. like me to say? Tell me all about everything you know about archaeology. Great. Not much. Done. Oh, oh yeah. What, what's your name? Uh, I'm Jenna Nichols. Jenna Nichols. Yes. Yeah. And your name of your film? Um, uh, Jesus Take the Wheel. Jesus Take the Wheel. Yeah. Can you tell me about the camera you used and the editor? Um, we used a uh, Lumix G85, and I think. And um, my, uh, another one of my roommates, Trinity Rollins, she had it for us. Tell me about the film, if you will. Um, Were you in? Uh, Sorry, I'm not very good at interviews. Um, a quick synopsis, or the name, the words that you got. Um, we got pray and pump. Pray and pump. Yeah, that was difficult. Okay. Basically, it's about two girls who are on their way to church camp to be church camp counselors, and they unexpectedly run out of gas, so they have to walk to the gas station, and they have turmoil that's been brewing for a while that comes to the surface during their trip. Is this the first time you've had a film up on screen? Um, in, maybe in this big of a place, yeah. Exciting. Yeah. And what's your name? My name's Trinity Rollins. Trinity Lawrence. Rollins. R-O-L-L-I-S. R-O-L-L-I-S. I-N-S. What's the name of your film? Um, it's called Jesus Take the Wheel. Jesus Take the Wheel. Yes. Excellent. Can you tell me a little bit about it before the show? Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but it follows two 
uh, church camp counselors who get into a bit of a predicament. They run out of gas. And I, I'll leave it there. <laughs> and it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Yeah. What kind of camera did you use? Um, we used a Lumix, a Panasonic Lumix G4. And what kind of editing software? Uh, Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Are you filmmakers? Uh, we yes. are, but we did not have an entry this year. No, we didn't. You didn't have an entry this year? No. Uh, of course. But we're excited to see all the entries, of course. All right. I'm a filmmaker, too. I was a cinematographer. For what movie in your name? Um, uh, from uh, The Cave Allegory, and my name's Nicole Lawrence. Nicole Barnes. Nicole Lawrence. Lawrence. Yes. All right. I have braces, so I kind of left the little bit. It's okay. <laughs> What's the, the name of the film again? A Cave Allegory. A Cave Allegory. Yes. Hi there. Oh, hey. And you must be the director. Uh, yes. Apparently. I did direct people. <laughs> the director of A Cave Alle yeah, Allegory. Yeah, Cave Allegory. Allegory. Yes. And your name? Uh, Nathan Brucker. David? Nathan. N-A-T-H-A-N. You know, the, the project is so much about the prompts that you're given, yeah. and uh, we were given cave and steer, and so we wrote this script that was, you know, thinking about those two ideas. And I think we really, I think we did a really good job of, like, folk developing a, a story and an idea out of those two seemingly just random terms. Yeah. Like, I was actually pretty impressed with all the put together in three days based on those two random words. And what camera did you use? Oh. Uh, I used a Nikon. A Nikon. Uh, I don't know anything else about it. It was what, this is a stock lens. We were good at, yes, stock just a lens. stock lens. We only had one lens, and I never shot before. We were going to use iPhones, but I had this camera that I had got for Christmas a few years ago. And you edited on what? Uh, so yeah, we did sound with uh, some Amazon thirty dollars wireless labs, right? Because uh, I didn't know what to get, and, and then I edited with uh, Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro X. Yeah. Uh, my name is Josh Dyer. I'm in the movie or film uh, Pumpkin Chicken. So it kind of starts out as just a group of friends in a bar having a good time, and then they get some bad news, and things just kind of escalate from that point. Um, so we were at the Woods, which is a local bar um, that the director of our film actually owns. Um, we all have been friends. A lot of us have worked there, and so we kind of located there and filmed it because it does take place in a bar, so it was a perfect location. And it's an assignment for one of my uh, classes at Marshall. Yeah, and I just came. <laughs> It was me uh, directing and shooting, and then my buddy Ashley Stinnett, he did the main casting, like the main cast, lead role, and then uh, Justin Williams did some voice acting. I'm hoping it sounds as good as it looks on my monitor and speakers on this awesome looking screen. Were you able to get a sound microphones? or? Yeah, we, we boom mic and we did an on-camera audio and a boom mic. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it was... For run and gun, something we normally don't do as much of, it was really cool to do something different, and it was really full package production for something little. So I, I, I like to sit in the back, you know, and just enjoy the view of the audience, see the screen, take it all in, you know, from a distance, and really, I'm an observant person. My film is a film that has no dialogue, and it stars Wally Dempsey as a ghost, and it was filmed here in this theater. I'm not sure what she made it out of. 